Um, it was a team effort. You know, um, we talked about before the game that everybody had a job to do and everybody was going to contribute. And when you look at the stat line, literally everybody that saw action tonight and our bench, everybody contributed. Um, I felt all night the guys on the bench were, were dialed in. We got the shot clock really low a couple times, and one of our rules is to make sure we're counting that down loud on the punt. And we did it every time except for one. And then one of our guys on the floor turned and held the bench accountable, and they were fantastic ever since. So it wasn't even all the things that showed up in the, in the play to win. Um, everybody did their job, the assistant coaches, the players. And, you know, we walk away with another very close game against a team that played incredibly hard against us on our home floor. So we're happy. Yeah, we practice free throws, and we take it serious every day at practice. I've spoken about it in previous interviews. Um, there's something on the line, you know, and, and it shows up in big moments like this. I tell the guys free throws are going to win or lose us games, and you definitely want to be on the winning side of it. Um, in terms of, you know, some halftime adjustments that we had to make, uh, their speed and their ability to get on our hip and by us was hurting us. Uh, the transition defense, you know, was hurting us. Um, Twelve turnovers, I think, in the first half. That's too many. Um, and we, we, you know, held it under. We ended up uh, with doubling our assists in the second half and single-digit turnovers in the second half. Even though a couple of them were real big cross-court kind of plays where they got layups out of it, so they were, like, really hurtful turnovers. Um, but, you know, this team just refused to quit. They clawed themselves back into it. They believed uh, in each other. Um, and we, as a, as a program, took a step forward in this young season. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, I have a ton of confidence in both of those guys, and, as does their teammates. So when the game gets really close at the end, and we practice end-of-the-game situations all the time. Um, I make up hypothetical things at practice, and it's up this, down this, this much time, here's the fouls. Because we're a young group, and we've got to learn and teach these things so that when you get in the moment, it's not like a, dead, a deer in headlights. It's, it's, oh, we've been here before. Oh, yeah, I remember what we talked about. The, the end of the game play that we ran, we literally put in uh, not too long ago and only ran it a handful of times. But when I drew it on the board, they all looked at me like, oh, yeah, like I know this one. So, um, you know, Nate had some huge offensive rebounds on the foul line, that tip to his teammate Nate, uh, the Nate to Nate connection, um, some big offensive rebounds, putbacks on a couple missed layups from our guards. And then when we called his name uh, on a couple drawn up plays because we like some mismatches with his height and athleticism, he delivered. Again, you know, he's, he's really coming along as a freshman. And then Alex Dietz uh, does it pretty much, you know, on both ends of the court. He was guarding their best player, and that was not an easy task. You know, they are a very tough team. They shot 50% from three tonight, uh, which is something that they have not done this season. Credit to them. You know, they're well coached, and they really get after their opponents. So, you know, getting the ball to Dietz at the end of the game, a lot of confidence in him, and he delivered. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be using other assets when we go out to Juniata on Saturday. You never want to come with the same kind of look or same kind of predictable thing. So um, it'll be the next man up, and I have confidence in the next guy that gets that opportunity.